I'm Mark Smezik, and I'm in the process of verifying this extrusion bracket that I'm working on here. And as I'm looking at the simulation, I'm looking that the toolpath looks great, but I don't really like the jaws and the way this is being held in way it's holding the part. So what I think I'd like to do is go ahead and make some soft jaws to hold on to this file. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, create a new layer here, and I'll call this uh, moving jaw. And I'll import um, a, a solid that I have, which represents one of my jaws. So I'll use import, make sure I have uh, import as part unchecked. And I'm going to select this solid here. And do I want to run okay, diagnostics? No. So I can see here, um, looking at my part, this is what my uncut jaw looks like. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move this jaw into position. So I'll select the solid and I'm going to go to copy and I'll go to translate and I'm just going to move this and I'll give it some values here. Okay. So I have my uh, jaw moved into position for my part, and now I'm ready to work on the next step um, of modifying the jaw. Inside a spree, we have a nice option here under the solid modeling for Boolean, which can be used for adding or subtracting uh, solids. So I'll tell it that I want to subtract, and I want to keep my tool bodies, and my uh, main body is going to be my jaw. And my tool body, I'll go ahead and I'll turn my stock on. And I'll select this as my tool body. And I'll say OK. And I'll go back. I'll turn my stock off. And you can see that my jaw solid has been trimmed. I still have these two little slivers here. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just delete these. OK. So I've deleted these two. Now I can go ahead and I can move my jaw back into position. So I'll select my jaw. And I'll go to copy. And I'll just reverse it here. Okay, I have my jaw put back into position and I'm going to change the color while I'm here. And now that that's done, um, I can go ahead and I can save this as a moving jaw. So I have my salad here, and I'll go to Save As. And I'm going to save it as a jaw, GDML. And I'll call this Moving Jaw. The jaw has been created and saved, and now I'm going to go and test it out. So I'll go to uh, my machine, and you can see I have my uh, original jaw here, and I'll edit the jaws, and I'll come over here, and I'll select the moving jaw I just created. I'll Say OK, and it puts it into position for me. And I'll say OK, and OK again. 
So I like that. I'd also like to update the jaw on the other side of the part. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Um, I'll come over here and I'll go back to my part view and I'll make another layer this time. I'll call it fixed jaw. And I'll come over here and turn my moving jaw off, my fixed jaws on, and I'm going to import the solid again. Um, I have my uh, jaw and it's on inside the software. Now I'm going to go ahead and move this into position before I cut it. So this time I'm going to rotate it and I'll rotate it around zero and then I'm going to move it into position with translate. My jaw is in position now. I'm going to check it by turning on my stock. OK. And now I'm going to go back and use Boolean again. So I'll go back to and I'll say subtract. And I want to keep the tool bodies and my main body. is going to be my jaw and my tool body is going to be my stock from my file. So I'll select this and say OK. And I'll turn my stock off and you can see my jaws have been updated. I've got these two slivers here. I'm going to go ahead and delete both of them. And now I'm going to move my uh, jaw back into place. So I'll, I'll uh, select the solid and we'll go to um, translate. And I'll bring this back. And then I'll rotate this again. Great. So now we're rotated and we're in position. I have my updated jaw. So now I'm going to call this um, another jaw file. So I'll save this as GDML. And I'll call this fixed jaw. Okay, so this has been saved. Now I can go back to verify this and go to machine setup. And I'll click on my jaws. And this time I'll update my fixed jaw. And I'll select the GDML that I just created. Say open. And I'm going to rotate this 180 degrees to put it in position. And say OK. And I think this looks good. So now I feel a lot better using these soft jaws to hold my part. That's it for today's uh, tips and tricks video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to visit our website at Esprit Cam to subscribe to our newsletter. 
and see more cool videos. Stay tuned for other tips and tricks. Have a good day.